About 60% of your website traffic will be coming from mobile devices. So it's really important that your website is responsive and mobile friendly. Elementor makes it really easy to check how your pages look in all devices while you're building your site. Your designs in Elementor will be responsive by default, but it's still a good idea to test them in all screen sizes to make sure your text is readable and everything is showing up laid out correctly. You can switch between the different devices with these layout icons up top right here. And then when you select something, like we'll select this H1 widget right here, over here, you can see that it's something you can change for that specific device as long as there's a device icon next to it. So we're going to click into style and we're going to see that there's this desktop icon next to alignment. So we can change the alignment and have it only show up on that screen size. So for example, this is centered on desktop, but if we want to move to the mobile version, we're gonna click mobile por portrait icon up here. Then if we wanted to, we could make this left align. By the way, if you guys want this roadmap, the free link is in my description below. Small plug, back to the tutorial. Now you're gonna see that this is only gonna show up left aligned on mobile. And then when you're on the tablet version or the desktop version, it's going to still show as centered. Note that you can't delete an element only from one device. So you're going to want to hide it if you don't want it to show up on other devices. So to do that, you can go into the advanced tab over here, and then you're going to want to scroll down to where it says responsive and click that. And then here is where you can choose to hide it on desktop, hide it on tablet, or hide it on mobile. So we can go ahead and hide this on desktop and it's gonna look like this with these grayed out lines. And then it's not gonna show up on the live site on desktop, but when you switch into tablet or mobile, you will see it's still there like normal. The default layout element in Elementor today is a container. But before the development of containers, Elementor was laid out in sections and columns. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make responsive changes to your layout using containers. If you're still using sections and columns, check my description for a link to a tutorial showing you how to make the switch to containers. So here I am on a blank Elementor canvas on a new page, and I am going to click this plus sign to add a new container. I am going to select Flexbox, and then I am gonna choose this option right here, which looks like columns, but it's actually four containers in a container acting like columns. So it's gonna be perfect to explain how to change them with responsiveness. So we're selecting that one. And now I'm just gonna put some content in here and make them look a little clearer so we can see what we're working with easier. Okay, so here we have four containers in a container acting as four columns, and they look like this for the desktop version. And when we switch to tablet, they're going to look like this. And it still looks basically the same as desktop, but when we switch to mobile, we're gonna see by default, they stack each other, which works, that works perfectly, unless you want it to be different, of course. So let's switch back into tablet, and let's, instead of this being one row with four columns here, let's change this to two rows with two columns each. And here's how we're gonna do it. Now, first, let me switch back to desktop. You're gonna see that these by default in desktop, we're selecting one of these inner containers and we're going to layout, and this is set at 25%, which makes sense. It's one fourth of a whole, right? But we're gonna want each of these to be 50% to take up half of the whole. So let's switch back to a tablet. And now we're going to make each of these 50%. So I have that first container selected, and then we're gonna go over here. And for width, we wanna make sure that we're changing this over here to percent instead of pixel. And then we are going to make all of these 50, and we're gonna see that it's not gonna work quite right, but that's fine. Switch all of these to 50%. And then I will show you how to get it to look the way we actually want it to look. 
and then select this last one, layout percent 50. Okay, so this, we did a lot of stuff and everything looks exactly the same. And that's because by default, Elementor is going to try to fit all everything in one line. To change that, we're gonna select the parent container. That is the container that's holding these containers. And then we are going to go to layout, the layout tab. And then down here where it says wrap, we are going to click that wrap icon. And then by default, it will wrap things instead of smushing them together in one row. So there we go. Perfect. Now, one of the big benefits with using containers is you can change the direction of these very easy. So for example, we have all four of them lined up here in desktop, right? But when we go to mobile, let's say that we don't want this purple high first. Instead, we want it to go the other way, the opposite way and have this blue high first. So you would just have this parent container selected, come over here to this sidebar and for direction, instead of having it say row horizontal, we're gonna have it do column reversed. And then there we go. Everything went in the di reverse direction. But when we switch to desktop, it is still in the original direction we chose. So that direction change only affected the mobile version and not the other versions. You can have even more control with responsive ordering if you wanted to also. So let's go back into the mobile version. Let's select this parent container again and let's put it back to uh, what it was before. But let's say we just want this blue high to be first instead on mobile only. So we're gonna select that container we're going to go to advanced and for order, we're going to move it to start. There you go. And now when we go to desktop, it is still the same and it only changed on mobile. So you may be wondering how Elementor decides which sizes should be the sizes it uses for the tablet version and for the mobile version. And we can change those settings in the breakpoints. Those breakpoints are set depending on the size of the screen and Elementor will use those to decide if it's going to show the desktop version of your site, the tablet version of your site, or the mobile version of your site. So sometimes you might want to change them. Like sometimes I do that if my navigation menu is too big and I want it to move to a tablet sooner than it's set on Elementor. So let me show you how to change those breakpoints. You're going to want to click into site settings with this icon in the top left and then click the layout link. And then you can scroll down and you're going to see breakpoints. And when you click into that, you will see this screen and then you can change the mobile breakpoint here and the tablet breakpoint here. Don't forget to click save changes down there when you're done. And that's it. Now you know how to make your Elementor website responsive and mobile friendly. If I was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment below. If you're building your own website, make sure to check my description for a free download for your nine step roadmap to DIY your website. It will take you through everything you need to do to get your site live from start to finish. Thank you so much for watching.